Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today we have traveled to the North Carolina Motor Speedway for the Rockingham 80. This is going to be race number five in the More Freedom Series, season four. And with it very early in the season, points are, I mean, points are still important. So let's go through your current top ten. Your points leader is the number 88 of NM. Second will be the three of Geek Girl Games. Third will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Fourth will be the 49 of Jetman. Fifth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Sixth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Seventh will be the double zero of Mudbone. Eighth will be the 211 of Hog. Ninth will be the 20 of Adam B5000. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 51 of AJM. Let's check in on your ch team and chassis standings. Leading the way after last week's big race will be MBR. Second will be Ace of the Z Motorsports. Third will be Douche Motorsports. Fourth will be Amish Buggy Racing. And rounding out the top five will be G3 Motorsports. Checking in on those chassis standings. Dodge leads the way after four consecutive wins here in the More Freedom Series. Second will be Chevy. Third will be Toyota. And rounding out the chassis standings will be the Fords. Only two Fords here this season, so... They're way down. They're like took the place of the Pontiacs from last year. So that's the look at all your standings. They're getting these cars fired up and ready to go here at Rock the North Carolina Motor Speedway. This is Rockingham 80. Crowd is starting to file in, so I think it's about time. So let's go racing. As I get those cars fired up, let's go through your starting top 10. Starting on the pole will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days, and on her outside, the 25 of JTM. Starting third will be the 300 of Resemble, and on his outside, the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Starting fifth will be the 96 of Nico, and on his outside, the 11 of TC Roberts. Starting seventh will be the 10 of Scooter, and on his outside, the 20 of Adam B5000. Starting ninth will be the 88 of NM, and rounding out your top 10, will be the 999 of Deviant. So Deviant getting back together with the Drop Bear Racing Team and they have brought him on board for the remainder of this season. So Deviant in the 999 is back. He's starting 10th. The 356 of Ice Cream Some Days leading us down to take the green flag here and the Rockingham 80. The green flag is out and we are underway. That 356 of Ice Cream Someday is already out to the lead here. Second place is going to be that 300 of Resemble with the 96 of Nico right behind. Several NBR drivers as the 300 of Resemble down to the inside of the 356 of Ice Cream Someday is here on lap number two. So Ice Cream with the leader on lap number one, but that th the 300 of Resemble as they just are wild in the back of the pack right there, very close to the outside wall. Uh, they are just absolutely very racy here today at Rockingham. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top. As I believe the 300 of Resemble will take over the lead here for hopefully 76, 79 laps of green flag action here at the North Carolina Motor Speedway. So Resemble your early leader here as the 96 of Nico in second. That 10 of Scooter down to the inside. So rookie here on the field, the number 10 of Scooter. He is down to the inside of that 356 along with the 88 of NM. So Ice Cream has pushed high. Your points leader, that 88 of NM down to the inside. Here comes the 34 of Super Snake. Amish Buggy Racing right there. They have been just very good this season. Last race was not very good for the Amish Buggy Racing crew. They have fallen down in the team standings after last week. So we're going to see if they can pick it up this week as NM still right there to the front of that 34 of Super Snake. He lets him, I think he's about ready to let him go by as the 11 of TC Roberts is going to try to make a move here too. Checking up at the front, the 300 resembles still leading the way. That 10 of Scooter is definitely knocking on the back door of the 96 of Nico. <laughs> Check back here through the field as the 88 gets down in front of the 11 of TC Roberts. Here comes top 10 runner right now. 49 of Jetman, who is currently fourth in points. As that 
95 is Zed Brenner working underneath the 25 of JTM. So caught on the outside right now are the 25 and the 356. Not a great, not great for them as they're just going to be freight train here by the majority of the field as they're falling back on the outside right now. The three of Geek Girl Games now under the 25 and the 356. Here comes the 203 of Science thinking about making it three wide. I think he was there for a second. We'll check back up here at the front as looks like the 96 of Nico to the outside as the 34 and the 10 of Scooter around. Here comes the 88 of NM trying to get around his teammates. The 96 of Nico. We're going to see what the 11 of TC Roberts does. Here comes that 49 of Jetman. So Nico stuck on the outside right now in the Marlboro Dodge for MBR. Still leading the way is that 300 of Resemble. He has led all but one lap here today at the North Carolina Motor Speedway. Current fastest lap on the day is going to be by the 34 of Super Snake at 22.331 seconds or 163.651 miles per hour. So we're going to see if that 96 of Nico can get back down to the bottom. He is just like his teammate, the 25 of JTM, getting freight trained right now. See the 356 able to get back down to the bottom. The 25 still stuck in the upper upper groove right now as Pistol Pete works underneath him. Rookie here on the series for Amish Buggy Racing. Here comes that 71 of Kung Fu Beer who sat on the pole last week. Didn't have a terrible race last week. KFB currently in the 23rd position in points. JTM definitely needs a good run this week as here comes the 777 of Seabass who was involved in that early caution last week which pushed him down in the standings after winning the week before. He's down to the 25th in the standings as the 25 of JTM finally back down to the bottom as we see that 96 of Nico has fallen all the way back to roughly 13th position, probably 16th after the timing and scoring updates. It looks like he's about to lose another position to the 13 at King of the Aces. As we see the 20 of Adam B5000 underneath the 07 of Douche Baggins. I haven't talked much about Douche Motorsports today. Other than the 203 of Science as DB gets down to the bottom, right behind him is going to be his teammate, the 211 and the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Last week's winner, the 51 of AJM, currently running in the back of the field. So it looks like the, the 999 of Deviant again for Amish Buggy Racing now. Moving over to Amish Buggy Racing. He is currently running in the last position, but I'm assuming, well, one, he's got to get back into uh, racing form here, but he also was probably caught on the outside for the majority of this race as the 34 of Super Snake around that 10 of ice cream, or ice cream, of Scooter. So the 34 of Super Snake up to the second position for Amish Buggy Racing, but leading the way is the 300 of Resemble in the Dr. Pepper car for the Drop Bear Racing Team. His teammate, the 799 of Mike Check, currently runs 21st and his new teammate, the 999 of Deviant, currently running in last as we see the 11 of TC Roberts down to the inside, almost down to the inside of that 10 of Scooter as your points leader, the 88 of NM working right there behind him. We're gonna see if he follows him along as the car owner and teammate, the 95 of Zed Brunna, to the back bumper of that 88 of NM. We're gonna see if Zed slides high. What are they gonna do off the turn four, or turn three, two, I'm sorry, turn two. The 95 does take advantage and does get down to the inside of that 88 of NM. So good draft run down the back stretch for the 95 of Zed Brunna. He's down to the inside of the 88 of NM as well as the 203 of Signs. Signs, good car last week, uh, ended up finishing down in the running order. Maybe I was that two weeks ago. Races run together sometimes. As we see your points leader, still outside groove. Here comes his teammate, the 29 of Wishbone Attack. So Wishbone definitely had a rough go last week, ended up on his lid, uh, had to retire after that, but he has worked himself into the eighth position, I do believe. So he is working to the eighth position behind his teammate, the 88 of NM. 34 to Super Snake trying to run down your leader in this race at 300 of Resemble.
as the 11 of TC Roberts looks like he was trying to go around Scooter on the outside. Scooter blocks down to the inside and makes uh, the 11 slide high, which almost allows that 95 of Zed Brunner to get around him as it looks like the 88 of NM has a good run on the 203 of Signs right now. Well, Signs may have had a good run on the 95, pushed, pushed himself high around the outside. They're trying here today to get that run on the outside, but it is just not working as well as they think it could be as the 88 is trying to get to the back bumper of that 203 assigned. So MBR lined up nose to tail right here with the 29 and the 88 as the 88 with a great run off the turn. The 203 assigns right to the back bumper of that 95 of Zed Brunna as we work lap number 21 here today. Checking in on the back of the pack, the 211 of Hogs has fallen back to the back. As we see the 799 of Mike check there on the outside of the 777 of Seabass. 329 of Heck of a Duber down to his inside. Lots of racing up here. There's uh, several of the Aces to Zed Motorsports cars. The 420 of Queen of Hearts and the 23 of Fuller to the New and the 13 of King of the Aces. So it's going to be a race of attrition, I feel. Not attrition, but they definitely have to work front to back. You get past, and you may end up at the back of the pack, and you're going to have to work back up to the front. As we see the 25 of JTM down to the inside of the 72 of Duchess. And there is that 8 of Moon Bunny, who has just had an amazing car this year in a lot of races. And then last week, I didn't mention it, but Moon Bunny somehow uh, was involved in an incident last week. I think in the pits or going into the pits actually finished a good lap or so down, uh, lost her hood and just had damage on the front of her car. As we see her pole sitter, the 356 of Ice Cream Someday is currently in the 10th or 11th position right now as the 29 of Wishbone Attack does get around the, 90, the 88 of NM. Actually, that was NM trying to get to his inside as we see Pit stops happening here today, so we're catch up to the 34 of Super Snake, who came into the pits in the second position as Resemble has led 23 laps here today. We're going to watch the 34 of Super Snake come down pit road into his pit stall, see what the Amish Buggy Racing has for this 34 of Super Snake, who started in the 13th position here today. So right side tires, looks like it's going to be a four tire stop. For that 34 of Super Snake as the 07 of Douchebag and stops right there in front of him. Fuel going in to that Magnum Research Dodge for Amish Buggy Racing as the 34 is finally down and away. 88 looks like he's about to pull out. Here comes the 11 of TC Roberts. Sounds like the rest of the field stopping right now as the 34 of Super Snake getting back out on the track. See all those folks coming in out behind coming out behind him. So we're going to see if Super Snake is able to take over the lead or if it's going to be that 300 of Resemble who, again, was leading the way here as it looks like the 34 of Super Snake is out in front of that 300 of Resemble. So Resemble even led through the pit stops as the 34 of Super Snake for Amish Buggy Racing takes over at the front of the field. We're waiting for all the timing and scoring to update in just a moment as that 11 at TC Roberts again. Winner last year, that 11 at TC Roberts on a fuel run. So awesome pit strategy last year for the 11 at TC Roberts. Ended up winning on a fuel run at the end of one of the races. I can't remember which one it was. It might have been the Charlotte Roval. As we check and see that 300 of Resemble almost going to fall into the clutches of the 88 of NM, their point, your points leader who has moved up to the fourth position. So let's go through your current top 10. Your leader is at 34, a super snake, barely over a second place. The 11 of TC Roberts. Third is going to be that 300 of Resemble. Fourth will be the 88 of NM. Fifth will be the 10 of Scooter. Sixth will be the 49 of Jetman. Seventh will be the 203 of Signs. Eighth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Ninth will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. And rounding out your top 10 right now is going to be the 3 of Geek Girl Games. 
Geek Girl Games has quietly been running in the top five all five races this season. Again, last season's points champion, the number three of Geek Girl Games, currently runs second in the points to the 88 of NM. So she is right there within striking distance again this year, trying to get a repeat of her championship from last year. We'll see if she can be the first two-time winner here in the More Freedom Series for the points championship as we see that 11 of TC Roberts does get around the 34 of Super Snake. He will take over the lead here. Actually, he had already led the, led the last lap, so he has taken over the lead. That'll be his second lap led as the 34 of Super Snake is not letting him go. He's going to stay in the draft. Of the 11 of TC Roberts, again, TC, now your leader as we check in on the back of the pack as we see the 544 and the 51 battling out for the last position right now. Last week's winner, that 51 of AJM is, I don't know if it just, they missed the setup here today for the 51, but definitely not running as good as he would hope, especially since he had moved up to the 10th position. Started the day 14th, currently running. 32nd on the day. Let's say 33rd, but 32nd. As we see the 25 of JTM falling to the back right now. I know he was higher than this when he came into the pits, so pit issues again plague. MBR as we have it three wide right now. Almost had it. We did have it for a brief time. Three wide between the 203, the 88, and the 10. As the 95 down to the inside of the points. Leader, the 88 of NM. Here comes the 8 of Moon Bunny as well. Looking through this top 10, if TC can pull off this win, he might be able to put himself with the possibility of being up there in the number one position, depending on how far if NM keeps slim, slip, slipping back as he's almost fallen into the clutches of his teammate, the 49 of Jetman, and that 3 of Geek Girl Games. As we see that 203 of Signs now down to the inside of the 10 of Scooter. Back up at the front, the 34 of Super Snake definitely not letting that 11 of TC Roberts get away. So we're thinking about 26 laps here today uh, will be our running distance. 25, to, I would say 25 to 26 laps today. Here will be the pit stop window. So you could say 23 to 28 current fastest lap now will be by the 203 of signs at 22.268 miles per seconds or 164.415 miles per hour so signs has that car hooked up for douche motorsports and he is trying to run down your leaders he's trying to get to the back bumper of that 300 of resemble put himself into the third position Checking back as we see that 49 of Jetman does get to the back bumper of the 88 of NM as well as the three of Geek Girl Games. So this is a battle right now for the eighth, ninth, and 10th position on the track with NM in the eighth position and the other two cars trying to take that away as we see that 203 of Signs blocking down to the bottom trying to break the draft on the 95 of Zed Bruno, which helps, I think it's gonna help that eight of Moon Bunny as she gets down to his inside. Again, just right here within striking distance is the 34 of Super Snake. A little slow off of turn two, as we saw right there. So he doesn't make enough time up off of turn two. We'll see if he can get it through three and four a little bit better than he did through one and two. Check back through the field some more as we do see the 10 of Scooter around the 95 of Zed Brunna. And we do see both the 49 of Jetman and the 3 of Geek Girl Games are able to power around the inside of the 88 of NM. Douche Baggins, DB, who was running way in the back, early going, running way in the back, currently up to the 11th position right there in front of the 29 of wishbone attack and here comes the 660 of garrett miller as well as well as that 95 or the 96 of nico who fell 
way far back, early going, getting stuck on the outside. He has worked himself back up to the 15th position. As we see your pole setter, the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days, who had worked herself back up to the top 15, has now fallen back after pit stops to 21st. Keep dropping back through this field as we see the 51 of AJM now has fallen all the way back to the last position right now. So quite a difference from last week going from first to last. As we're getting closing in on halfway here, your leader is at 11 of TC Roberts. And now that 300 of Resemble who may have been, Resemble may have been sandbagging here. He may have been just coasting, doing as much as he could to keep his position as he is now just running down that 11 of TC Roberts. So maybe heavy racing between the 34 of Super Snake and that 11 of TC Roberts has now allowed the 300 of Resemble and probably that 203 of Signs, who again, Signs has the fastest lap here today. And he is now down to the inside of that 34 of Super Snake. So maybe early going in the run. Actually, it's almost at the end of the run here as we're on lap 47. So I think Super Snake came in about lap 25. So I believe we will be getting, now there'll be two more stops, I think. Two more stops here today. Down to the last few laps here on those tires for that 34 of Super Snake. Uh, he should probably about lap 48 or 49 as we do see the 300 of Resemble who has caught up right to the back bumper of that 11 of TC Roberts. So Resemble has just driven his car to the front. And again, I don't know if he was maybe just sandbagging a little. He may just have a better car with older tires. basically pushing that 11 of T.C. Roberts around the track right now is that 300 of Resemble. As we see Resemble down to the inside of the 11 of T.C. Roberts, he was just waiting, lying in wait was that 300 of Resemble. He is now to the inside of the 11 at TC Roberts with, I'm guessing probably two pit stops here because it's going to be 28 or it's 29 laps to the finish right now. So we're going to see if this is going to be a two pit stop affair or if this is going to be a three pit stop. Resemble looked like he probably went 26 laps on his. So that would, I think it's definitely going to be close. It'll be very, very close here at the end as to what they do before they come into the, like if this is going to be their last pit stop, Resemble's definitely going to need to go several more laps if this is going to be his last pit stop as we do see the 34 Super Snake is into the pits. Couldn't wait any longer. Those tires were definitely gone away. Saw the 211 of Hogs was in. So we see a bunch of other folks jumping into the pits right now. We're going to see if the 300 of Resemble is coming. It looks like he is peeling off the track. The 8 of Moon Bunny and the 95 of Zed Brunner and that 10 of Scooter. All three staying out. So that 8 of Moon Bunny going to get an extra lap and also going to get an extra lap. So she, I mean, she's playing the, playing the cards here. It's going to be 27 laps to the finish. And Moon Bunny, Scooter, and Zed, and Wishbone Attack could all possibly, from this point, make it to the end of the race we don't know yet race ain't over as we see that 300 to resemble into the pits right side tires going on for that drop bear racing dr pepper toyota looks like it's going to be a four tire stop for the 300 of resemble as we see the 356 of ice cream some days in right side tires going on for her 203 aside's almost going to beat out that 300 of resemble right there at the last second as the 34 of Super Snake has a heck of a pit stop for Amish Buggy Racing. He is going to get <laughs> way out here to the lead. He is way out here to the lead right now. 
They're going to run him down, though. I feel like they're going to run him down because they're going to have a little bit of a draft. But 25 laps to go here at the North Carolina Motor Speedway for this Rockingham 80. And your leader on the track is the 30. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Now, I think it's going to be the 34, a Super Snake. We'll wait for this timing and scoring to update. And we'll figure out what we need to figure out here in just a second. Moon Bunny did lead a lap here today. All right. Score, timing and scoring has updated. Let's go through your current top 10. Your leader is that 34, a Super Snake for Amish Buggy Racing. Second will be the 203 of Signs. Third will be the 300 of Resemble. Fourth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Fifth will be the 49 of Jetman. Sixth will be the 8 of Moon Bunny, who again stopped later than everybody else, so this could be very beneficial. Ninth will be the 33 of Harvey Jones. Harvey, who started dead last on the field today, up to the seventh position. Eighth will be the three of Geek Girl Games. Ninth will be the 95 of Zed Brunner. Rounding out your top 10 currently will be your points leader, the 88 of NM. Knocking on the door will be that 660 of Garrett Miller. And here comes the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. And an amazing pit stop by that 211 of Hogs. Put him out to the 13th position. So Douche Motorsports had a great pit stop. I don't know if they went two tire stop or what they did, but Scooter is trying to make it three wide with the seven and the 211. He's anxious to get back to this top 10. Is that a 10 of Scooter? So the 96 has worked his way. He's still in the 16th position. So there's your 10th place. Starter, the 999 of Deviant, who has worked from last back up to the 18th position. Checking back through this field, see what's going on. Running currently in last is going to be that 544 of Frederick Winklevom. So the 34 of Super Snake may or may not have enough to go to the end of this race but he might catch up to lap traffic with that 544 Frederick Winklevom. Frederick is just going into turn one. So he's about four or five seconds, maybe six seconds up. So they're running 18, so 22, yeah, about six seconds up. No? Yes, no, four seconds, four seconds. It's about four seconds up on that 34 is Super Snake as the 203 of Signs trying to run that 34 down. We're going to see if that is beneficial or if that. We're going to see what happens with the 203. He's looking for his first win of his career here in the More Freedom Series. Again, rookie this season for Douche Motorsports is the 203 of Signs. And we're going to see if he is pushing hard here to try to get to the end of this or to try to get to the first place. Get some, get some much needed points as he currently runs in the 29th position. He's had a good car a few times last week involved in that caution, uh, which really did hurt his point situation a lot. Uh, he definitely is working to the back bumper of the 34, a super snake. Again, remember, Signs ended up like seven or eight laps down last week, uh, worked on his car for a long time in the pits, got him back out, did earn valuable points, but... Uh, he is, and again, the 34 Super Snake was also involved in that caution last week. So both of these drivers have recovered very well from last week as the 203 of Signs has definitely ran down the 34 of Super Snake. He is now ready to put his car on the, on the point here at the Rockingham 80 with about 14 laps to go. Pit strategy, amongst other things, are coming into play here at the end of this race as we know that 25 laps, possibly, I don't know, because Moon Bunny ran about 28 or 29 laps. So are they going to make it those 13 laps? Are they not going to make it those 13 laps? I think Moon Bunny ran one or two laps more. So she at least ran... I think she ran two laps more than um, 
three laps more than Super Snake, and I think two laps more than Resemble. So, hey, it's all a bunch of math that this broadcaster doesn't know anything about because those crew chiefs are down in the pits working very hard on that math to get them to the end of this race as we do see that eight of Moon Bunny in the fourth position. Looking back through this field, the 49 of Jetman trying to work, to, trying to get to the, the back bumper of that 95 of Zed Brunna. Um, so that makes me think, did Harvey, I mean, he's consistently worked himself into this season into good positions. Was this a two-tire stop by that 33, or was it, I'm assuming it was a four-tire stop and just a very, very good stop for RP Racing. They must have taken all of Frederick's crew and thrown it on the 33 and just had them all out there at the same time because Frederick currently running in the last position. So checking back again through this field as the 71 of Kung Fu Beer almost into the top 10 as he currently runs in the 12th position. Uh, we're gonna see if G3 tries to get around that 88 of NM because I mean, any points are gonna help her cause as she's currently 15 points behind the 88 for, for the points lead. As we see that 660 of Garrett Miller down to the inside of the 33 of Harvey Jones. Let's check back up at the front because I'm sure as we do see that 300 of Resemble getting around the 34 of Super Snake. So Super Snake falling back again. He's good early in the run, has a great pit stop for Amish Buggy Racing, but after they catch up to him, it looks like that Magnum Research Dodge just does not have under the, you know, like the setup isn't as great as some of these other cars, but he may also be sandbagging right now, trying to get to the end of this race as again, we don't know if the 203 or the 300 have the fuel to get to the end of this race. So I think we're talking a matter of laps here within two or three laps to the finish. You know what I mean? Like as we do see that eight of Moon Bunny is now around that 300 of Resemble. So Moon Bunny has a fantastic car again here today for Douche Motorsports. Uh, she currently runs, checking on her points situation. Currently 12th in points is that 8 of Moon Bunny. Again, if you've been watching this whole season, the 8 of Moon Bunny has had an amazing car, probably one of the best as two Douche Motorsports cars run one and two right now. Probably the best car out of the Douche Motorsports stables, but just has had awful luck here this season. She was leading very late into the race. Late race pit stop by that 8 of Moon Bunny put her out of contention for the win, but she was leading very late into a race. Same situation here as we have about four, five laps to go in this Rockingham 80 as she is right to the back bumper of her teammate, the 203 of Signs. She's now down, working down to his inside, so that eight of Moon Bunny in the Hot Tropic Chevy for Douche Motorsports has now put her car out to the front with about four laps to go. Tires starting to go away on that 203 as he used them. I think he used them all up trying to run down that 34 of Super Snake and Super Snake probably used up all of his trying to stay out in front. As we see the 300 of Resemble maybe lying in wait here for that 203 of Signs. And the good, the question of the day is, is this going to be win number five for Dodge? Or is Chevy going to get the breakthrough win that they need to move them up to the top position again in the chassis standings? Currently 42 points behind Dodge in the chassis standings, but it looks like the 203 is pitting. As we got the white, is this the white flag? No. Oh. We're coming around to the white flag. Your leader here with one lap to go is going to be the eight of Moon Bunny. She brings it around. There is your white flag. One more time around for this eight of Moon Bunny. They played it right here today at Rockingham. Maybe as we head down the back stretch, that eight of Moon Bunny through three and four. Looks like she is staying out on the track. She's going to bring it onto the front stretch. She's going to be your winner here today for the Rockingham 80 is the eight 
of Moon Bunny. So great pitch strategy by Douche Motorsports here today. They're going to pull off that win with the eight of Moon Bunny. It's going to be her first win of the season. Again, a fantastic car all season for her. But let's go through your finishing or your finishing top ten. Again, your winner is finally for this season after having a great car, the eight of Moon Bunny. Second place will be that 300 of Resemble. Third will be the 95. Of Zed Brunna. Fourth will be the 49 of Jetman. Fifth will be the 660 of Garrett Miller. Sixth will be the 88 of NM. Seventh will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Eighth will be the 96 of Nico. Ninth will be the three of Geek Girl Games. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Amazing job today for that eight of Moon Bunny and Douche Motorsports. They're going to be the first Do or Chevy winner. They're knocking Dodge off. The top of the top of the standings for the, the wins. They're getting their win. That's what they're doing. Uh, but let's next week. Next week we go to the track that is too tough to tame. We're going to Darlington for the Darlington 74. That should be an amazing race. It's a very very tough track. Um, let's get a look at your current points and checking in on the standings. I'm guessing. I don't know. We're going to see who is leading the points, who is, where everybody is shaking up. Uh, could be NM, could be Jetman, could be G3. It could be any number of folks could be up at the top, but you're seeing those points. Let's check in on your team and chassis standings. We'll see how those look for the team and the chassis. Again, Chevy getting its first win of the season, so you're seeing those. It's going to be a tough break for several of these drivers as we did last lap, last two lap pit stop, end up putting some of the top drivers back in the back of the pack, uh, allowing Moon Bunny, who had fantastic fuel mileage here today, to pull out the win. Probably could have won another two or three laps. Uh, ends up leading the last five laps of the day. She wins it here, so congratulations to the 8 of Moon Bunny. She is your winner for this Rockingham 80, and we will see you next week right here for the Darlington 74. And until then, take care.